Hello, welcome to uh, Evening Prayer, Monday 26th of April, this is St Mark's Day, known as John Mark, he wrote the, what's probably the first of the Gospels to be written, probably unfinished, he seems to write it in haste, it's got a very immediate style to it, and stops at the beginning of Easter Sunday really. It may well be that Mark himself at that point gave his life for Christ. It's difficult to get back into first century traditions with any certainty but we give grateful thanks to God for what he did and for the blessing that that gospel has been over the past 2,000 years. And so we begin with Psalm 45. My heart is astir with gracious words, as I make my song for the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. You are the fairest of men. Full of grace are your lips, for God has blessed you forever. Gird your sword upon your thigh, O mighty one. Gird on your majesty and glory. Ride on and prosper in the course of truth and for the sake of humility and righteousness. Your right hand will teach you terrible things. Your arrows will be sharp in the hearts of the king's enemies, so that peoples fall beneath you. Your throne is God's throne forever. The scepter of your kingdom is the scepter of righteousness. You love righteousness and hate iniquity. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. All your garments are fragrant with myrrh, aloes and cassia. From ivory palaces the music of strings makes you glad. King's daughters are among your honourable women. At your right hand stands the queen in gold of Ophir. Hear, O daughter, consider and incline your ear. Forget your own people and your father's house. So shall the king have pleasure in your beauty. He is your lord, so do him honour. The king's daughter is all glorious with him. Her clothing is embroidered cloth of gold. She shall be brought to the king in raiment of needlework. After her the virgins that are her companions. With joy and gladness shall they be brought and enter into the palace of the king. Instead of your fathers, you shall have sons, whom you shall make princes over all the land. I will make your name to be remembered through all generations. Therefore shall the peoples praise you for ever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Why not? Makes sense, particularly as to why. A psalm which appears to be something of a wedding song should appear. But then we have to think of the church as the bride of Christ and Jesus as the bridegroom. And today we read from the beginning of Ezekiel the prophet. And this is chapter 1 and beginning at verse 4. As I looked, a stormy wind came out of the north. A great cloud with brightness around it and fire flashing forth continually. And in the middle of the fire, something like gleaming amber. In the middle of it was something like four living creatures. This was their appearance. They were of human form. Each had four faces and each of them had four wings. Their legs were straight and the soles of their feet were like the sole of a calf's foot and they sparkled like burnished bronze. Under their wings, on their foresides, they had human hands. And the four had their faces and their wings thus. Their wings touched one another. Each of them moved straight ahead without turning as they moved. As for the appearance of their faces, the four had the face of a human being, the face of a lion on the right side, the face of an ox on the left side and the face of an eagle. Such were their faces. 
Their wings were spread out above. Each creature had two wings, each of which touched the wing of another, while two covered their bodies. Each moved straight ahead. Wherever the spirit would go, they went without turning as they went. In the middle of the living creatures, there was something that looked like burning coals of fire, with torches moving to and fro among the living creatures. The fire was bright, and the lightning issued from the fire. The living creatures darted to and fro like a flash of lightning. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And what's that doing there? Well, you'll find in the medieval period that the four faces are associated with the four gospel writers. And you'll see that a different creature is shown as representing the four gospel writers in um, medieval carvings. And that has been linked back uh, in our liturgy today to the beginning of Ezekiel's vision at the beginning of his prophetic book. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things to me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He's come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. We come to prayer this evening. We bless the Lord for our creation, our preservation, and all the blessings of this life. And we pray that the Lord will grant us grace to have thankful hearts. For those of us who are old, may the Lord grant us grace not to just look back with sadness at what we don't have anymore, but to give the Lord thanks for what we have, for all the good things that have been and the good things that are going to be, and for that future that we have without end. So, Lord Jesus Christ, help us with the way we think, so that we are able to deal positively with all the challenges of this life. We pray for those who are young, that the Lord will direct their footsteps into positive ways, that the Lord will enable them to have good employment, and above all, that the Lord will raise up the new generation of young people to be trailblazers in the restoration of Christianity in the nation. We bring before the Lord older people, middle-aged people, who are the leaders of what's happening in life, in all sorts of ways, as senior leaders in places of work and in the community. And we pray that the Lord will direct their footsteps. We recognise that that generation haven't really given Christ much time and may well have dismissed him out of hand. The Lord Jesus Christ, we know you still believe in us reach into the hearts and lives of those who are willing to listen and bring them to follow you. And Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for older people that we might not write ourselves off, that we might look up to you, that when we might not feel we're too old for anything, knowing that you hear every word 
that we say and every thought that we think and that you value our prayers. So Lord, take us forward, each one of us at our different stages of life, that we might be a blessing to one another and to be with, and to you. And we pray for all those concerned with children and young people, that the Lord might guide their footsteps so that children might be blessed and nurtured, not just in being good citizens, but in remembering Jesus, him crucified and risen from the dead, and Lord. Almighty God, who enlightened your holy church through the inspired witness of your evangelist St Mark, Grant that we, being firmly grounded in the truth of the gospel, may be faithful to its teaching, both in word and deed, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So may you remember that the hands that flung stars into space are stretched out to you. Scarred hands. A reminder that God knows your pains and has dealt with your mistakes. Hands that are strong enough to protect you. Hands that are tender enough to hold you lovingly. So, may the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.